I generally do think like I think maybe COVID, maybe the pandemic, maybe the lockdown, I think has generally just broken people's will to live. I think the the idea of New Year's resolutions, the idea of like, you know, working out in the new year and new me, new body, new me, all this sort of like, you know, even the dry January stuff, I'm not really seeing any promo around that. I'm not seeing people really talking about that on the timeline. I don't know if people are quietly doing the dry January thing and not announcing it, but I'm not seeing a lot of people talking about that on the timeline. I'm not lot of seeing people in the gyms. I'm not it's just it just feels like another another year. It just feels like just any other month. This could be any other month in any other year and you have no, no idea it was January. Whereas I feel like before the pandemic, you always felt like it always felt like a January, you know? You could kind of feel, okay, this is the beginning of the year. People are being a little bit more stoic. People are maybe, you know, deciding to maybe dial back on some of the crazy shit they were doing last year or something. It always felt a little bit like, okay, this time we're starting off a little bit slow and we want to kind of ramp it up or we're trying to take our foot off the pedal and we're just trying to get things in order, get things in line with our lives and then we can kind of go crazy later on. But if anything, this just feels like any other month. And the gym for me has been the biggest example of it. Like I was genuinely worried the first couple of days I was going to the gym. I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to just, you know, stand. Because one of the annoying things about going to a gym, especially for me anyway, I think most people are the same, is when you have to stand around waiting for people to finish on the equipment that you want to use. Because I'm not somebody that wants to communicate. Like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just different in this regard. But when I go work out in the gyms, I want to kind of, do the opposite that I do when I'm you know living my regular regular life so I'm not in there to be like you know Mr. Personality Man I'm not there to be like the joker or stuff I don't want to you know get to know anybody I don't want to have any conversations I don't even want to want you to hear my voice I just want to go there do my workout and go home you know that's all I want to do I don't want to do anything else I want to whack on some tunes and even when I put my tunes on I'm kind of disciplined in terms of if I put on if I put my tunes on shuffle I don't really like to touch my phone or if I have a mix on, I'll just leave it on until I finish the workout type of thing. I don't want to be on my phone. I don't want to be browsing. I don't want to do anything. I don't talk to anybody. So when I'm in there and the equipment's taken, you know, you kind of like you're stuck in that weird position where you're like, should I ask the person when, when they're going to finish? Should I ask them how much sets they got left? Or should I just figure out another workout, which is already, a, you know, another bit of, you know, unnecessary stress you have to kind of think about because you go in there with one plan you want to do and now you've got to do another plan, which is why nowadays I've been going, I've always got like two or three little workouts in mind, you know, because usually, especially in the gym I go to now, because it's a bit bigger and because it's open later, um, which I've seen, this is a good kind of like example as to why maybe, or not why, but definitely an example and uh of why places like Berlin and stuff work so well or other places in in Europe in terms of clubs opening hours. This gym I go to is 24 hours and genuinely, even if somebody's on a bit of equipment that you need, you don't have to wait more than 10 minutes to get on that equipment yourself. Like, cause there's, you know, there's probably two or three different stations and people are rotating in and out all the time. So it, it is the same sort of like example as to people that go to you know why people prefer to go to club in places like berlin because their clubs are open longer so you got less people in there you know packed during the peak hours and the people that are in there aren't exactly super fucked up to the point where they can't walk and shit because they're coming in you know all hours of the day spread across the whole entire weekend so it helps to kind of alleviate all that stress you know all people getting a little bit too mad and whatever it may be and i think the same thing happens in that gym so that's a good thing but still, there are occasions where you go in there and you're like, oh, you're twiddling your thumbs. You're like, damn, man, should I ask this person when they're going to finish? You don't want to da, 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 da. But the beginning of this year, I never had that issue. The beginning of this year, I never had that issue. There's none of that issue. No one's there. Nobody's there. It feels like any other week or any other day that you'd go there, nobody is there. And it's been really, really cool to see, but also a little bit sad. Like it feels like people are either have either given up or people's priorities have changed or the world has just changed and it's never going back to what it was right the 2019 world that we all lived in um is never coming back again this is a whole nother reality that we're living in where news resolutions don't count people really don't care um and they'd much rather just do what they're doing and um, whenever they want to do it and kind of go from there because yeah i've just been really shocked really really shocked by the lack of people that i've seen out there in the gyms man it's been kind of um it's been kind of sad i'm not gonna lie to see um in some respects because it means like you know people are just like meh 
why bother? You know, why bother if I'm going to... I guess there's some... I guess there's some... There is some level of, like... I won't say under respectability, but I kind of get it. If you're just going to be like, you know what? Why bother if I know I'm going to flop anyway? You know? There is something quite... I won't say... Is it admirable, maybe, about that? About, you know what? I know myself well. I know I'm going to flop by day three. Why even start... Why even give myself this false hope? Because maybe that's the worst thing, Right? Maybe the worst thing isn't that you don't achieve your dreams. Maybe the worst thing is that you give yourself false hope that you're going to change your life and do this really crazy thing and, you know, whatever. You're going to change careers. You're going to do this. You're going to dump all your friends. You're going you're gonna to get your life in order to get help. Maybe all these big, grandiose plans are the ones that really hurt you the most because when you fail them, it's almost like you failed yourself, right? And that kind of shit hurts. You're like, oh, shit, I failed myself. I didn't, you know do the things that I said I was set, I set out to do and that's the kind of thing that you can't necessarily I won't say you can't recover from but it's hard to kind of wrangle in your brain that that is okay you know that maybe makes a lot more sense maybe that makes a lot more sense maybe that is a lot more sense maybe who knows who bloody knows but either way um the gyms are gyms are empty nobody's in them um, new year's resolutions don't really exist anymore i don't think and if anything maybe people like myself who have goals and ambitions and stuff we're the weirdos maybe i'm the freak maybe i'm the odd one maybe i'm the delusional one actually because i'm actually sitting here believing you know that um things like that can change when they really can't you know maybe i'm the delusional one that's the real that's the real kicker there you know maybe the delusional one is flipping me maybe that's the delusional person out there the one that actually thinks you can actually change something for the better is the delusional one um what are you guys saying in chat oh yeah it's a good point yeah don that's a very very good point don that's in the chat is saying wonder if it's ozempic has to do anything with the reason people don't go yeah that, that might be a, a really good observation there Maybe the rise in Ozempic has really altered the fitness gym, you know, losing weight transformation, New Year's resolution world. Because essentially, if you can stab yourself with a little pen, why would you need? Why would you need to work out, right? If you can honestly lose most of the weight that you want to lose um, and fit into the clothes that you want to fit into, why would you honestly put yourself through working out? Why would you put yourself through the you know the grueling regime of having to wake up at a certain time you know put your body under certain bits of stresses underway eat a certain diet all this sort of nonsense when you could just stab yourself in the belly a couple of times a week and then all the weight kind of melts off it doesn't make any sense obviously for me being a little bit of a you know of a of a vanity freak and also paying attention to all that sort of stuff there is a big difference between people that lose weight via Ozempic and people that lose weight you know the normal quote-unquote natural organic way there is a big big difference especially because i've seen the people that tend to take Ozempic are the people that also don't like working out so maybe there is a balance maybe there is a way to do Ozempic and work out and eat well where you can kind of not look as deflated because something i've realized for people that do Ozempic they almost look like they're deflated like someone took all the air out of a balloon or something. That's what it almost looks like. Um, it's just really strange. And they have like that weird Ozempic face where it kind of ages you in the face. I don't know why that is the case. One of the side effects, it kind of ages you in the face. For some reason, your face ages way more than the rest of your body, which is super, 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 super strange. Um, but yeah, I, and I also think there is something, there is like an, there is an, what you call it? there's a benefit to just being able to do something really hard like your brain realizing that that's possible right like change like rewiring how your brain thinks about things because one of the hardest things to do really in life apart from maybe making more money right one of the hardest things to do apart from making more money like actually you work a job now you get paid 23,000 a year how do you go from that to 30 right it's kind of difficult to do like to just try to figure that out like it's very hard to do people kind of underestimate that you got a lot of fucking grifters out there a lot of these fucking stupid you know um social media entrepreneurs that make you feel as if like money's just lying on the street waiting for you to pick it up it's not easy to make money so to go from you know making 24 grand to then making 30,000 to then making 35 to 40 and then maybe hitting a point where you're reaching 100,000 a year that's not not difficult to do it's not so it's not easy to do but when you do figure it out, 
it does give you a lot of self confidence when you're able to maybe hustle. You're able to maybe go, you know do some new do some extra courses, um, get some better accreditation, maybe bounce around from different jobs and improve your CV, and then little by little apply for better jobs, and then kind of get to a point where maybe you don't get past the first stage, but then next next time you get you get down to the last five or the last two. All these things can be really good for your self confidence and kind of rewiring your brain. But one of the bigger best things is definitely like changing your body right going from skinny to fucking muscular going from fat to fucking skinny or whatever it may be that can really help um you in your life in ways that you probably don't realize so that's probably where you miss out on ozempic you kind of miss out on that component because obviously you know it's just something you do with stabbing yourself with a pen you don't really get the benefits of like rewiring your brain to tell yourself oh look i can do way more than i think i'm capable of doing you know what i mean when i put my mind to something look at what i can actually do look at the amazing things i can achieve blah 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 um it's really an, and obviously there is a lot to there is a lot of um benefit for other people too who are maybe watching you from afar who probably you don't really know who are kind of you know um who are there looking up to you for for your example because they've seen you at your fires because sometimes you don't even realize how chunky you are until maybe somebody else points it out so maybe they're looking at you thinking oh my god that's amazing so you get to inspire loads of people you get to rewire your brain and you also get to kind of tell yourself that, you know, you can do all things if you kind of put your mind to it. Those type of things are not things you should probably, um, you know, um, discount as just a minor thing. Those are really big things. So that goes to show you that maybe the Olympic thing, as much as it's been a net positive, probably for a lot of people out there, because, you know, there are some people out there who are just never going to work out anyway. And I, and I do have sympathy for it. And I think those people should be have, they should get the option to look hot and sexy one time in their life. I think that's really is beneficial for them. Um, definitely for sure. But I think for the majority of people out there, it's probably necessary to put yourself through some level of, you know, discipline, some level of pain, some level of hurt to get to that point where you look amazing in clothes or naked so that you can tell yourself, hey, you can do a lot more than you think you're capable of. That probably is the best way to go about things. But, you know, what do I know when it comes to this sort of stuff? What do I know? Not that much, not that much.